Hi everybody. Don't tell me this is a messy Monday. I don't want to hear about it. You live in the no excuse zone if you're watching me, right? Uh-oh. Why were you brought your favorite num num? Or why did you buy it for yourself? Uh-oh. Remember that that dessert tip? that somebody gave where you if you're gonna have to have it you go out to have it and then it's the rest of it is not left in the house yikes well I hope you escaped it and it's a non messy Monday for you um, I had uh, my treat meal on Friday night I had um, the homemade almond meal pizza divine and the creme brulee that I've been making for Greg and I never had one and that also was divine but that was my treat for the entire weekend and the rest of it has been lots and lots of water lots and lots of tracking lots and lots of food prep my fridges are so full at first I thought of doing a little fridge tour but <laughs> I'd have no place to put all the stuff that I took out I have the greatest haul of foods. Oh my goodness. Um, I had um, organic cauliflower um, roasted with coconut oil on the big green egg yesterday, along with Brussels sprouts in coconut oil and olive oil. And um, other veggies are organic baby lettuce, organic spinach, all kinds of eggs. I'm going to make a frittata. I'll probably make another quiche. I'm having two scrambled eggs today. Pete and Jerry's organic eggs. None of this is, gets any better. It really doesn't. Um, what other things for the veggies? I steamed some organic carrots yesterday. Anyway, I have lot. Oh, and I've got some organic broccoli that I couldn't even get to to cook. Um, lots and lots of peppers to put in salads. It's a really good haul. And um, I love food. Have I ever mentioned that to you? Oh. And um, I watched Transforming, Transformation, Transforming Melody, I think that's the, whoops, that's the name of it. And um, she did a video with things that she's got in the house to make things, cook things, drink things in. And it was a really nice eight or nine minute video. Um, you know, just about the, the um, glasses that she uses, how she likes glass containers, how they're kind of expensive, so she buys them one at a time. Yep, my hand is up with that. That's how I did it too. And um, uh, she's got a Ninja blender. Um, the jars that she keeps her things in. She drinks um, smoothies made with the um, raw vanilla meal um, Garden of Delight. No, wait, what was it? Anyway, it's, it's the one that I use, um, ironically. And so it was a nice tour of her um, things that she has that, that she works with. And um, it was kind of cool. I always love you know, slices of other people's, um, how they do it, life. And with the cooking thing, it was really kind of cool. And on the Western Price website, um, there's a woman that did, um, she's from the Florida chapter of the Western Price. It's a, it sounds like a fascinating group. I would join if it was local. Um, so, um, she also did a, a, a little, um, tour of her kitchen and she didn't really get into cooking and taking care of herself and um, things like that until after she had her children and she said it cost her about three hundred dollars to do the setup and I know that I have quite an investment of wonderful things the enamel enameled over cast iron cookware Martha Stewart Dutch ovens cast iron Dutch ovens tons of um, tri-clad which is stainless steel with copper in the middle and then stainless steel cookware um, 
you know, and once you start investing in how you're going to prepare your foods, it, it's, it's really, it's like, one thing that makes me cringe is when I see paper plates with a beautiful meal on top of it. And it's just like, you take the time to take care of yourself, make your cookware, you know, the best. If you can't have the best right away, buy it a piece at a time. That's how I've, I've always done it. And I have quite a collection now. And my glass jars, you know, to store things, to bring my salads to work in, and my brown broth and things like that. It's such a nice, it's such a nice self-love thing, you know. Um, it sure beats Tupperware, although Tupperware used to be the go-to, right? And I'll tell you, nobody's asking to borrow your glass, your glassware like they did your plasticware. Then I've got the take-alongs to give to people if I was making something and giving it away. Um, so, and I have a little, another little donation for the shelter that I work at, some gluten-free things that still have the tapioca, um, rice, corn flours, other things, corn starch, things like that, because now that I'm really totally grain-free, it's almond flour meal, coconut flour, and that, or the buckwheat flour if I have my rare and appropriate pancakes. So I guess you could call my pizza last, um, on Friday night, rare and appropriate. So here we are, it's Monday, and it is February 15th. So I hope it's not messy, and I hope that you took good care of yourself over the weekend and it didn't slip and slide with some of the goodies, um, especially if you're preparing little holiday valentine things for other people and some of those things didn't go into your mouth. Not only did they not go into your mouth, but they weren't tracked as if you didn't tell anybody it wouldn't matter. You want to have that integrity of your food plan at all times because integrity isn't something that you put up on the shelf and pull back down when you're really being vigilant with your tracking. And um, I'm kind of mad at my lose it. The ratio, is some, you know, sometimes it, it says zero. And then sometimes it's off the charts for things like carbohydrates, which I'm not eating. So, um, you know, it reminds me of when I was using the Weight Watcher app before Smart Points. I don't know how your Smart Points one works, where it's just not working right. And it's very frustrating because, you know, it takes time to put in your stuff. And you're kind of hoping for a product that, <laughs> that is correct when you're logging. So that's just minor little inconveniences. But anyway, I'm hoping it's not a messy Monday. I'm hoping everything is tracked. I know it's school vacation week, so some of you are ready to pull out whatever hair you have left, or you're watching your hair gray from your kids. <laughs> it's all good. Um, it's how it goes. So I hope that you're not, if you're, if you are home with your kids, you're not um, in that place where things pop into your mouth, um, plates get cleared and crusts get eaten and things like that. Um, be good to yourself. You know, my suggestion would be to have your meal with enough fat in it before you feed the kids and then you're not slipping and sliding with their stuff. Have a glass of water while they're eating their stuff and um, for me the end of my lunch is always my very strong coffee with a half a tablespoon of Xyla and one tablespoon of heavy cream and that says it until dinner time and so if you're feeding your kids and you're kind of nervous about the rest of the day you know have something like that something that that signifies like for me at the end of the day you know it's the brushing and flossing and and um, you know that means there's no more food um, curing the bad habits takes a while and it takes an awareness, right? So you don't want to have a messy Monday. If you're home with the kids, you don't want to have a messy Monday. You don't want to give in to their pleas to do the window diet. You don't want to do the window diet. They don't need the window diet. So um, try to find healthy swaps and um, the stuff that works. Teach them the good eating habits that you you got later in life. You know, here I am, you know, 65 years old and <laughs> teaching better eating habits to people <laughs> that, you know, have no intention of doing anything about themselves or their children for a long, long time. But that's how it goes. It's called planting seeds. Plant your own. 
Take care of yourself. No Messy Monday. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye for now.